Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the Bloom opt-in form pop up when you click a button. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this pop up. To make the Bloom opt-in form pop up when clicking a button, we need to have a few things in place. Firstly, we're going to need an email marketing service like an Aweber, MailChimp or ConvertKit. We're also going to need a Bloom plugin. Now this comes in with your membership when you sign up for Elegant Themes. And also we're going to need some CSS code. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by going into our membership area and download the plugin. So here I am on the membership area of my website. I've already logged in. So the plugin can be found right here. So all you have to do is to click download and then it gets download, downloaded onto your computer. So next we need to go into our website. So I'm going to come here into my WordPress dashboard and install that plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. And then I'm going to come over here and click on upload plugin. I'm going to choose and then you can see it right here in my downloads folder. So I'm going to double click and click install. So next we need to activate the plugin and then I can see here there's an update. So you might as well do that. So I'm going to click update. Okay. Now that our plugin has been updated, the next stage now is to go into the settings and set up our pop-up. So I'm going to come over here into settings. So first off, we need to create a new opt-in. So I'm going to come over here and click on new opt-in. So the option we're going to choose here, you can see there's several op, uh, options here. The one that we're going to choose is the pop-up. So I'm going to select it and then we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this Mac pop-up like that. And then this now is the stage where we need to select our email provider. Now my email provider I'm going to use in this example is MailChimp. I have an old MailChimp account. So I'm going to come over here and click select one and I'm going to find MailChimp, which is right here. Okay. So what we need to do now is to select the account. So I'm going to come over here and click on MAK17 because that's my account. And then I'm going to select my email list. So I'm just going to choose any of these free online marketing. Okay, that's fine. Now, you may notice that these this information here just came up by default. That's because I had already set this up. So what you'd need to do is to enter your API key. So let me show you how to find that. So if you come over here into your MailChimp account, you go all the way here to the top and click on profile. And then you need to come here to extras and then API keys. So this is the API key that you're going to need to enter into your setup process. So once you set up, once you enter your API key, you also need your username. Your username is just your login username, which is in my case is Mac 17. So those are the two key things that you need to set this up. Okay. So the next step is to go into design. So I'm going to click here on this button here. And now we're on the design setting. So this is where you get to choose which uh, layout that you want to go with. So I'm just going to choose this basic one uh, because this is just for demo purposes only. So I'm going to click the next button here to customize. So this is where now you can add all your text that you need for this to work. So here you can enter your image URL and then over here you can adjust the fonts the form set up and so on and so forth. But for now, we're going we're gonna to skip this page um, and go into display settings. So what we need to do here is for this example, we want to, this to display on everything. Okay, so I've just checked that box. In this setup, we need to make sure that trigger on click is activated. So I'm just going to click on that because this is very, very important. And then let's disable everything else. So what we're going to do next is to create a page or choose a page where we need the button to be. So I'm going to come over here to my posts, uh, click on all posts, and I'm just going to choose one post to do this example. So I'm going to click on view so I can have a look at uh, what this post looks like. Okay, so this is the one that we created before. Now let's add a button just below this image right here. Okay, so I'm going to enable the visual builder. And then I'm going to add a button module. I'm going to click this plus button here and add my button. 
So the text you can put in this button can be anything. So for now, I'm just going to put sign up and then I'm going to make sure that my button is centered. So next, I'm going to go into my advanced tab. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come to CSS ID and classes and I'm going to add this code for my CSS class. Now, if you'd like this specific code, you can find this on our post that we have linked in the show notes below. So for now, we're going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to come over here into our Bloom settings. So I'm going to come back to the plugins, click on installed plugins, click on Bloom settings. And I'm just going to go into the settings of my opt-in. So click on display settings and here is where we need to add our CSS selector string. Okay, so you can see here it's already entered. So all you have to do is to copy and paste it. And again, this can be found on, a po on our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. So once you've done that, click on save and exit. And then we're going to come over here and exit the visual builder. Now it's time to test the button and see if the button is working. So I'm going to click on it. And there we go. Now this button is working. And as soon as you click on the button, our opt-in pop-up shows up. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.